previous game on Wednesday brings the fire from downtown. Ohio on top 5-4. It's a good sign for Ohio. Definitely hoping for Bales to have a game like she had against Marshall. Wells now on the right side. And Tamika Guns works that one in from just about the foul line. A possession. Lexi Baldwin trying to get it out of the grill of Duval. Not successful before grabbing the arm. It goes for Wells' his first three-pointer attempt. Flash. Through the right side, Sophie Boston from Highland, California. Throwing the ball now to Georgia native Wells. Off the right, now down the far side block for Duval. Kick it back out for Boston. Now six side to go left, and then we're back into Duval. Four in the shot clock, leaning back away. And Duval knocks down a fadeaway jump shot. Six. But Sneaker Randall here has to keep calm here. Right side three for Wells, and it's knocked down. Crystal Wells with 18 threes now. LIU expand their lead to 16. Turnover by Ohio for the right side by Yell. Up ahead, running well is Cleander Roberts just finished the lane. And it's getting out of hand, 33-15. Just ill-advised or too high. Three minutes to play, right pass there by Gus. And you wake up, make your eggs and toast, and then throw in a hoop. That's what Gus does every morning, 36-17. And Fisher now with four, and now it's an 11-point margin. And then Fisher Rose will shoot up and good for a deuce there. So the and Simone Lyles with three. Also, Aaron Bales with three fouls, so they've got to be very careful on the defensive end. Duval got in the post, back out to Boston, who sinks the three. Here for Ohio, going to try to trap the right side. Fowler and Robinson can't corral Wells. Down inside to Jamal, and for the right side, Rose Sr. So miss that one, defensive board cleared by the Blackbirds. And Ohio pulls off the troops. LIU will pick up their second home win, and improve with three and five. The Cats drop their second straight. And drop to four and seven. They go all in to the NYC show on the floor. 63 54. We'll have post game reaction thoughts in the Sneak Arena interview after this two minute pause at AM 1340 WOUB.